Hi and welcome to this video showing you how to use the user and security feature on EasyPass. Let's log in with the default administrator password which is 1234. Let's go to the back office. Let's click on settings and let's go to user and security setup. Let's add a new user. and let's assign a password the, the, the line cell quantity change allows the, the person to change uh, the, the quantity of an item that's been rung up in other words if they've scanned one, one, uh, one, one of a specific product they can, they can either click or tap on that, that line item and change the quantity in the cell the line drawer opens um, allows the, the user to open the, the drawer without making a sale. Allow refund. This is a refund transaction where uh, the item comes back into stock and the money is given back to the client. Allow discounts. This allows the, the, the user to either do line discounts, discount item for item, or to discount the entire sale. Allow back office access. This allows the user access to the back office and all the functionality in the back office. Allow price change. This allows the user to change the price of an item in a sale while the item is being sold. Allow payout, this is a petty cash function and this allows the, the user to use that function. Allow cash up, this allows the, the user to cash up the system for the day. These four functions on, on the last four functions are basically more for, for restaurants. Um, allow access to tool tables, this allows uh, the, the manager or the, this, this specific person access to everybody's table. So all the waiters tables should have access to all the tables. Allow table transfer. This allows this specific user to transfer tables from one waiter or from one person to another person at the end of shift. Allow card tender. This allows, this allows the over tender on a card sale, um, mainly used by, by waiters in the restaurants when they're getting tipped and somebody pays more on their card, or as a cashback function in, in retail environments. Allow, allow lay-by and, uh, and allow accounts. This allows the user to, to access to the, the lay-by and account functionality of the software. Let's give this user some some rights let's save and update that and let's click on let's let's print an access card for the user now what we'll do is we'll go into the point of sale and we'll actually scan that access card to log them in okay so we've logged in as Sheldon 1 and you'll see if he wants to go to the back office he's not allowed to do that and that's basically the way the user and security setup works on EasyPos. thanks for watching